Westford Cat has a very special opening for a talented volunteer who would like to appear on camera. The station is in need of a few good news anchors for the weekly news show, and we're seeking people who are well-spoken and comfortable in front of a camera. If that's not you today, take heart, because in this video, we'll show you how to look relaxed and genuine on camera. I'm Westford Cat board member Nancy Burns with a tutorial to help you with your on-camera appearances. There are several things to consider when anchoring a news show. Cadence, inflection, eye contact, appearance and style, posture, and familiarity with the script. In this tutorial, we'll look at each one of these points to help you prepare for your big break. Cadence is the essential ingredient in making news copy sound interesting. It requires a more animated style of speaking than a normal speaking voice. Here's Ira Keltz, who has anchored our news for the past few years, showing how it's done. Hello, Westford. The school committee chose new officers, the town beaches open for the summer, and mental health issues among teens were in the spotlight this week. I'm Ira Keltz, and it's time for Westford Cat News. Ira set the gold standard. Notice the inflections in Ira's sentences and the direct eye contact he makes with the camera while still having a relaxed manner. That's it for this week, Westford. We leave you with Patriots fans confessing their Super Bowl superstitions to Westford Cat staffers Patty Stalker and Nick Woodbury. We'll see you next week. Here I am reading a segment of the news in my regular voice, followed by Ira's approach to the same story. Pay attention to the rhythm of his voice and how he keeps you listening, despite the complexity of the story. Assistant Superintendent Carrie Cleary and two curriculum coordinators presented a plan to school committee members for the state required overhaul of the social sciences curriculum. Assistant Superintendent Carrie Clary and two curriculum coordinators presented a plan to school committee members for the state-required overhaul of the social sciences curriculum. Appearance matters a lot. If you have a beard or mustache, groom it before coming in. Comb your hair. Wear a solid color top. Men should wear a blazer. In this video, Ira chose a melon-colored shirt. And now, our feature of the week. In the aftermath of the horrific killings at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, Americans are weighing in on the question of gun control and school safety. You'll notice that in every appearance, Ira wears the collared shirt and jacket, or a tie with a collared shirt and jacket. Keep in mind, there are also a few don'ts. Don't wear black or white or green because of the green screen, or bright stripes. Keep it simple, loud colors can be a little tough, and jangly jewelry will pick up on the microphone. So try to just keep it simple. Using the right makeup will avoid casting a shine to your skin. Look into buying makeup for high definition TV. A visit to the store will help you figure out what works best for you. Posture also matters. Stand or sit up tall and straight if you can, so that you appear authentic and well-versed. Finally, before the cameras start rolling, practice the script. Read it out loud over and over again until you know it well and can anticipate that word that could make you stumble. The more familiar you are with the content, the more relaxed you'll appear, because we're looking for that one person the camera loves. That's most of what you need to know to anchor the news. If you're interested in auditioning for this opportunity, email news director Joyce Polino Crane at jcrane at westfordcat.org, and we'll arrange a time for you to come into the studio. We'll be holding auditions in September, so stay tuned for dates and times. <laughs>